Hey learners, this is Dr. Anam and today we are going to study about what is mixture. In chemistry, mixture is formed by the combination of two or more substances without any chemical reaction. So mixtures, they are formed when two or more things or substances, they are combined but no chemical reactions takes place. Here is an example of mixture which is milk. Milk is a mixture and it contains water sugar fat and protein these are the individual components which combine together to form milk without any chemical reaction it means that if you want to separate these things from the milk you can easily do that another example is soil soil contains minerals air water and organic matter along with this rocks pebbles they are also sometimes present in the soil these are the individual components when they combine together they are going to make a mixture and from the soil you can easily separate all these individuals so mixture contains two or more substances without any chemical reaction and they are separatable the journal characteristics of a mixture is that the combining substances they are not present in fixed ratio it means if one mixture is present here the same mixture is present here the combining substances of mixture one will have different ratios or different substances and in this mixture they will have different the combining substances will retain their chemical properties because they are not formed by chemical reactions so each individual it will retain its own chemical property. The components they are separatable by physical methods like filtration or boiling or crystallization can be used to separate the components or individual components of a mixture. There is no chemical formula which can be used to express the individual components of a mixture because they are present in not a very fixed ratio or randomly uh, the boiling point and melting points of the mixtures they are dependent on the combining components so whatever the combining substances the boiling po points and melting points will depend on that if the combining elements they have high boiling and melting points collectively the boiling point and melting point of the mixture it will also increase there are two types of mixtures homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixture homogeneous homo means same in the homogeneous mixture the combining components they have the same or uniform composition throughout the sample for example you have a glass of water and then you add a salt in it and mix it all the drops or all the part of that solution will have the same composition so it is a homogeneous mixture similarly air it is also a homogeneous mixture because it has a uniform composition like nitrogen present 78 percent oxygen 20.9 percent throughout the sample heterogeneous mixture hetero means different so the uniform composition is not present it means for example here we have a soil at this point the composition is different at this point the composition is different similarly at this point the composition of soil is different so this is a heterogeneous mixture so that was all about the mixture if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section subscribe to my channel and also like this video i will see you in the next video